What's going on everybody, this is Ultima High Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 5 city tweaks compatible with iOS 10 for December 2017. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Maze. This tweak's available for $3 and it brings the iOS 11 control center to your iOS 10 device. So as you can see right here, this is the iOS 11 control center layout. And I gotta say, this is a very good replica of the iOS 11 control center. I was very impressed just with the attention to detail, all the gestures, the design, it looks and feels just like the real deal, you know, between all of the animations, just the attention to detail, again, it's very impressive, and it does feel like the real experience when you're using it. Just, you know, all the animations, as you can see, you know, just details like that. So, uh, you know, in addition to providing, you know, an experience that is very authentic, it also allows you to do more than you're normally able to do even on the iOS 11 control center. Basically, you could rearrange everything. Normally, Apple only allows you to rearrange the bottom portion of the control center on iOS 11, but this week allows you to rearrange everything in the settings. And you know, once again, just things like the flashlight, just, you know, how that is the exact same experience as it is on the real deal is just very impressive. So, uh, uh, to basically customize everything, you could jump over to settings, open up maze, and in here, basically, you have an include section and the more control section slash do not include. So it's very simple. And basically, you could just rearrange everything, remove things, and add things. So for instance, let's just say I wanted to move down the uh, connectivity section with all the toggles down. I could just drag it and move it down just like that. And as you can see, it takes an effect just like that. And again, Apple's control center in iOS 11 does not allow you to do this. And again, you could do, do it with anything. Let's say the music. Let's say I wanted to move that. Again, you could do anything like that. Now, you could also just add more of the toggles listed down here. Now, this tweak also integrates with tweaks like flip switch and pull list. So you get toggles that, of course, were not here normally. For example, like the eclipse toggle, if you have the night mode tweak installed, or a respring toggle. So you could add things like that, in addition to things that Apple normally allows in the iOS 11 control center, like notes and things like that. You could add them, and then they'll show up immediately just like this. And, of course, you can see we have that nice 3D touch menu for the notes as well. But yeah, guys, this tweak does a very good job of bringing the iOS 11 control center to iOS 10. Once again, it's called Maze. It's available for $3. Next up, we have Simple Timer. This one's available for $0.99, cents, and it allows you to set timers and use a stopwatch right on the lock screen so you don't have to unlock your device and use the clock app to do so. You could just now, with this tweak installed, you just tap on the right side of the clock on the lock screen, and it'll ask you to start a timer. Now, if you keep tapping, as you can see, the amount will increase. So this is how you set the amount you want. And if you want to decrease it, you tap on the left side, once you're in this view, and again, you could increase and decrease just like this. So let's say I wanted to set the five minute timer. After I have it set on what I want, I just tap and hold. And just like that, it's gonna set the timer. And as you can see, it'll start counting down just like that. Now the uh, timer function does integrate with the standard clock app. So basically, you know, this timer is going inside the clock app. And of course it'll function the same way. It'll use the same sound that you have set in the clock app. And if I just go ahead and uh, unlock my device, open up clock again, you'll see that under timer, you can see it's keeping track just as it is on the lock screen. Now, of course, you could pause the timer right in the clock app there, uh, or you could actually just tap on the lock screen right there on the clock, and it will pause it just like that. And, of course, you could tap again to resume just like that. Now, to cancel it, once again, you could do it within the clock application, or you could just pause it first, and then once it's paused, tap and hold. As you can see right there, it'll clear it just like that. So this is definitely useful for people who set timers all the time. You know, you could do it right from the lock screen without even having to unlock the device. Now you could also use this tweak for a stopwatch. If you tap on the left side of the clock to start, you can see it'll ask you to start a stopwatch. If you tap again, it'll just go ahead and start the stopwatch just like that. And of course, it'll just display right here. And if you want to pause the stopwatch, you just tap once again just like that on the clock. And then you could tap again to resume, and it will resume. Now if you want to clear it, you pause it, and then tap and hold and it'll clear just like that. Now, I do want to mention, for the stopwatch functionality, it's actually separate from the clock app. So when the stopwatch is running, you go into the clock app and go into the uh, stopwatch section. You can see it's not running here, even though there is one on the lock screen. So this is separate, the stopwatch, but again, the timer one is actually integrated with the clock app. And of course, if you open up settings on your device after you've installed it, and you could go ahead and open up Simple Timer and configure various options in here to make it work exactly the way you want. So uh, once again, it's called Simple Timer. It's available for 99 cents. Next up, we have Scroll Back. This one's free, and it allows you to easily get back to a portion of a page if you accidentally tapped on the status bar to get to the top. So let's say you were scrolling through a page, you know, anywhere on your device, and you know you accidentally tapped on the status bar, and of course, when you do that, it'll take you to the top of the page. But with this tweak installed, basically you could just tap on the status bar again and it'll take you right back to where you were. So if it was an accident, you could easily do this. And again, it allows you to go to the top and then right back to where you were just like that. So a uh, very simple tweak, but it could definitely save you some annoyance. So uh, once again, it's called it scroll back. 
Next up we have Strip Number Pad. This one's free, and it gives the phone application's keypad a very nice effect. Basically, it allows the wallpaper to blur through right into this view. So uh, just whatever your current wallpaper is you know, set for, it'll go ahead and take an effect right in here just like this with this nice blurred effect. So it just goes for a very nice effect within the keypad dialer. Now it does not affect the other areas of the phone app as you can see, but again it does just provide a nice effect to the dialer. So uh, once again it's called Strip Number Pad, available for free. Next up we have Bounce Reachability. This one's free and it allows you to basically add some nice animations to reachability to spice things up. As you can see right here I have this nice bounce animation with reachability. Uh, it also works inside apps as you can see right here. It just kind of spices things up. Uh, to configure this after you install it, just go into settings, open up bounce reachability, and there's various options in here. The way I have it set right now is just the uh, first toggle for the reachability bounce speed is set to slow, but again, you could play around with this. There's uh, various different options in here, different animations it's going to give you, so definitely go in here and see which one you like best. But uh, once again, bounce reachability, spice up reachability on your device. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.